This is Asia Tonight. Good evening, I'm Loko with tonight's top stories. China promises humanitarian aid to Ukraine and says it's open to mediating peace, even as it reaffirms a rock-solid friendship with Russia. Ukraine rejects Moscow's offer humanitarian corridors to Russia and Belarus as the Russian assault intensifies. At the same time, Kyiv takes its case to the International Court of Justice to press for an immediate halt to the invasion. But Moscow is a no-show. A multi-billion dollar submarine base be built on Australia's east coast with the Prime Minister stressing the need to bolster deterrent capabilities. The leader of South Korea's ruling party attacked with a hammer while campaigning for this week's presidential election. Hello, I'm Dawn Tan. Also tonight, a closer look at the stream of refugees trying to get out of Ukraine. The United Nations says it's the fastest growing refugee crisis in Europe since World War II. And Thai police say Australia's cricket superstar Shane Warne died of natural causes. I'm Eugenia Lim, your Asia Business Update. Oil prices hit a 14-year high as the US and EU discuss banning Russian imports. Plus, as retail brands flee the Russian market, Uniqlo digs in and is staying put. A Moscow has announced the opening of new humanitarian corridors for Ukrainians to escape Russian bombardment. But the new paths to safety lead to Russia itself and Belarus. It's a move immediately dismissed by Kiev as an immoral stunt. Ukraine says the corridors are unlikely to happen as long as Russian forces keep trying to advance.